There's gratitude, gratitude for you. Just gave me a punnet of chips to a homeless lady and she just gave me some f***ing abuse. Welcome everybody. I don't know what you're looking at again. Uh, uh, again. It's you. It's you and your arm. You're in it. You're in it. Tuesday morning. Heading to Heathrow. Woohoo! We are finally, after two years in the in the waiting and the making, off to the good old US of A. So we had a little bit of a um, an issue last night. So I decided that it was important for us to check in because I got an email at quarter past eight last night to say uh, you can now check in so I went online I started checking us in and weirdly actually do you want to explain it to the uh... oh, I, I renewed my passport last year the, yeah, the Esther's still valid on my old passport I forgot to apply for a new Esther for my new passport is what I did however we realized that last night and I applied for it at about nine o'clock last night and got it about 20 past 11, 10 last night. Yes. So what's the problem? It, it was it was rather panic stations. <laughs> so Heathrow bound should be there in half an hour. Yeah, check in. But we'll uh, we'll, we'll keep you posted. We're in. I'm not sure Sarah's going to be too happy. Yet again, another strip search. I don't know what it is with her biometric or whatever it is with her passport or check in, but she always seems to be the one that. Um, gets proper checked over. Maybe it's just her face. Maybe she looks like a criminal. Things, huh? Very good morning to you all. My name is Ailsa. On behalf of the entire crew, we'd like to welcome you on board this and British yes. Airways flight and a half to Chicago. Like she just said. To help us depart as soon as possible, Chicago. please place all electronics what did she do? and vaping is not permitted at any time. So that's the third time. The this includes the toilets, which are fitted with smoke detectors. She said, oh, I can do your waistband. She'd lift it up We now invite again. you to make yourselves comfortable so, and then tune so in to our explain to me one thing. Stretch is now Why you? for you to Why have always you? Give me your always. I look dodgy. Selected. Yeah, I just said that. You've got a face of a criminal. Anyway, welcome. Now, would you like a glass of champagne? That's the main question. Oh, here we go. This is more like it. That's the main question. I'm editing that out. Only non-alcoholic beer. Oh, okay. No, I've got champagne. Um, 10 o'clock. <laughs> so she, she's got champers. And I've got whiskey. <laughs> Trip. 
Beach Hills. They're not joking, it's called the Windy City for a reason. I mean, this thing, it, we're moving around like a bastard. ourselves a uh, one of the uh, upgraded Hilton executive suites this is an executive suite um, oh it's been a long day so anyway check this out what do you think what do you think the sharps it's all right. It'll do. It's, I mean, look at the size of it. The bed's nice and big. Yeah, but one of the advantages with the executive suite. Oh, yeah, one of the advantages with the executive suite is the view. It's phenomenal. I mean, you, you, I don't know. I mean, money, money doesn't buy this sort of view. I it's mean, like a container. Look at that. Look at that. That's just stunning. It. I mean, never have I seen such pure delights. Good old Hilton. So this is mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Your drinks and the inaugural vegan cookies. I mean, these are food. Cool. One for dessert, one with a cup of coffee later. Thank you. day tour in Chicago. We've got a, uh, what is it we're actually doing? We're going to Sky Deck. Sky Deck, which is how many flights on? I don't know, but high, you, you can high. see four because states. Because what you will see is that in Chicago is that they get very, 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 very tall buildings. <laughs> but it is the tallest be... building in Chicago. Is it? Used to be Wolfsey's town. So anyway, we're going up that this morning. So this is this is what we're going up. It's, uh... it's really weird that we're doing this because we're both going up high. I know.
Welcome to the Sky Deck. You're on your way to the top of the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Along the way, you can watch as we pass by some of the tallest buildings, monuments, and structures in the world. You're riding up this 1,450-foot modern marble in one of the tower's 104 elevator cars. Your trip to the Sky Deck will only take about a minute. That means your elevator is traveling at a speed of more than 24 feet per second. The tower opened its doors in 1973 and held the title of the world's tallest building for 25 years. The west antenna reaches 1,730 feet above the Chicago streets. We're now passing 850 feet in San Francisco's Transamerica Pyramid, 970 feet in the Yokohama Landmark Tower, Japan's tallest building, 1,062 feet in Paris's stunning Eiffel Tower, the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong, 1,250 feet in the Empire State Building in New York. And now we're here, 103 stories up. Welcome to the top. So this is um, in remembrance. Chicago remembers the falling. There's a little uh, water feature. And then the thing that's quite shocking is that this shows everyone who uh, sadly lost their life in the Vietnam War between 1962. You can't take your breath away that. Wow. There are a lot of things that I love about America that I can't quite put into words, but I have to say they're uh, the, yeah, the level of their patriot patriotism. Yeah, it's something that we should probably do a little bit more in the United Kingdom.
Everyone says thank you for your service, don't they? Sort of. Yeah. So, yeah, very nice touch. vegan uh, restaurant here in Chicago and uh, I ordered the barbecue barbecue bacon um, someone here has got the OG which looks like this nice. mine on the other hand looks like they kill <laughs> I hope it tastes better than it looks. In a throwaway world, I find it quite disgusting that you see people that go to fast food chains and restaurants in general come to that um, and they, they don't quite finish everything they're eating and they just chuck it all in the bin. Yeah, on the other end of the scale, you've got homeless people that are trying to scrape together a few bucks to buy something just to keep them going. So. We've got some leftover chips and a few sachets of ketchup that we're going to give to the next homeless person. All day we've seen homeless people on every street corner. We've been walking for five minutes. Maybe they, maybe they work all day as homeless people and then go home at night. Um, that could be the case. But anyway, we'll keep looking out. Just gave me a punnet of chips to a homeless lady and she just gave me some f***ing abuse. I won't be doing that again. No wonder nobody else is doing it. Never mind. That was uh, a lesson learnt. In San Diego, they're lovely, the homeless people there. Chicago, absolutely not. Anyway, looking for directions because we can't find our hotel. See ya. Beginning the inaugural Route 66. So this is it actually says here, but you can't quite make it out. B E G I N. It's the beginning of Route 66. There it is. For you to see me 